What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Snow Vision Outdoors. Today is the first day of open water that we're going to try out. Got Bolt the bird dog with me, and he's loving the water. It's February 23rd, I believe, and we're going to try to catch some bass or whatever bites. But we're going to start off with a jerk bait. We're going to start with something fast because uh, you don't want to start slow and work your way to fast because if they're biting on fast that's what you want to catch them on so let's start off with that see how this works with the dog tromping through the water come on get out of the water dude all right here goes the first cast <laughs> Whew. didn't bird nest so that was good this is what i'm gonna do you see a lot of people they try to tell you you got to go really fast with this but i just say try a couple different ways and however the fish are biting with it. You guys go ahead and jerk it that way. Jerk it however feels good. I like to jerk, jerk, pause. I'm guessing the water is gonna be extremely cold still. I like to give her a couple of jerks and really let it sit, especially since the water is so cold. So when you're snapping that jerk bait, whatever style of jerk bait you have, if it's a slow riser or a suspending one, you're gonna hit it and it's gonna roll and however you have that jerk bait set up, I have this one, you can kind of see a weight on it, but in the cold water, it'll change a little bit. So you'll have to throw it out into the water, jerk it a little bit and let it get down and see what it's gonna do for you. If it's gonna slowly rise or if it's gonna sink on you, but most likely in the cold water, it's gonna rise. Uh, that's how most of them work for me, but you're gonna be jerking it along and it's gonna be like this. It's gonna roll and stop roll and stop when I talk about fishing that slow because when it's really cold then bass or fish are not going to want to chase after something like this when you roll and it stops and a little slight rise might just be enough to get it to cause that reaction to bite it so I really like to work these slow in the cold early months I got the jerk bait here might try a chatter bait we're going to try reaction bait first and then move on from there use the reel sometimes the bass slow it down instead of jerking it like that give it a little bit different action i throw on a chatter bait throw on this original chatter bait just a kitek for a trailer make sure you set your brake that way you don't backlash like i like to do i like to usually give it a pop until i can feel it start to vibrate get it going faster at least that's what I like to do. You don't just have to reel a chatterbait back. You can pop it. And it kind of makes the skirt breathe a little bit, makes it look alive. Make it look alive. That's what I was always told. So however you fish something, make it look real. I like this spot up here because of how it wraps around and it kind of does the same down into the water. It seems like they kind of sit where it bends around. So hopefully there's going to be a couple sitting there waiting. I'm just running straight braid. Because here in these lakes, it's really muddy. Caught plenty of fish on straight braid. I'm gonna work all the way around, and then I'm gonna switch over and work slow. If I don't get any bites, I'm gonna start slow and work my way back around the lake. It should be the best side to fish on this lake. The wind's blowing into it. The sun's warming up the water, blowing the warm water to this side. And the fish should be moving over this way. But like I said, it's mid-February in the Midwest. It's awfully early to be trying to catch a fish open water all right i'm gonna switch to deadly nedley it's kind of dirty water but chatterbait ain't working jerkbait ain't working so we'll see if we can get something to bite on this thing fish a chatterbait a lot of different ways you don't just have to swim it pop it run it a little ways let it die float to the bottom jiggle it a little bit work it like a jig i'm running a chatterbait pretty much similar to this one not the same color obviously but same style of trailer and i mean pretty much the same weight and i talk about fishing in a couple different ways i'm talking about jigging it up and you're gonna make that blade jiggle up and then fall down and if any of you've been fishing long enough you kind of know what a bait fish looks like when it's dying on the bottom it struggles up and then it falls back down to the bottom so you don't always have to just fish it straight across. 
you can fish it, let it die, sink to the bottom, and then kind of rip it up a little bit and you'll it'll get it to vibrate and then drop it back down. And a lot of times that'll cause a reaction strike there. So I like to pull it up, let it fall to the bottom. And these skirts, they'll be breathing for you when you, you're pulling and stop, it'll breathe out. You know, you kind of got to imitate what a fish is going to look like, you know. Imagine what that's down there in the water doing is versus just straight pulling it. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's swimming, but is a really cold lethargic bass going to want to chase? You might just have to really slow roll it along the bottom, kill it, maybe flutter it up a little bit and let it drop again. So that's how I like to fish the chatterbait, especially in the cold time. Obviously, it'd be great if you could just throw it out and uh, reel it back, but a lot of times that doesn't work. Not when it's really cold out. With the Ned Rig, with the little crawl here, I just like to pop it, wiggle it a little bit while it's on the bottom. If you get stuck, I like to make a quick pop and let it fall again, because a lot of the times that's when you get your bites, is when you're stuck on something and you pop it up to get it broke free. It's kind of hard with the mucky bottom to fish this, but you get a light enough head on there, it'll work. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Just kind of jiggle the tip like this and then pop it. Every once in a while, a little bit bigger pop. You keep working it along until you feel something, pick it up. Got bites swimming it in before too. And you never know how they're gonna bite it, but pay attention for when you do get a bite, how you're working the bait because that way you can keep on simulating it, that same action. Showed you there what the, how my tip is and I'm just shaking it and that's sitting there on the bottom like this standing up and both these tentacles are going to be up in the air just moving with the water especially if it's windy and I'm just talking about barely shaking it and you're the bottom of it's just you're just barely moving it like this and them arms are going to be up moving around in the water column and just that little bit just that little bit of movement it might not take much you know I've caught a lot of cold water fish where it's just sitting there and your your arms are just barely move barely moving so you know don't be afraid to just let it sit there a little bit and then like I was talking about you got to imagine this is on the bottom and you're kind of stuck in some grass and you rip it up you know don't just reel it back in you know you're like oh I'm stuck in grass you're going to want to just rip it up out of that grass as hard as you can just with a nice snap to it and it's going to pop out of that grass and then die back down and then a fish is going to come and trap that when it sees something like that happen so that's just one of the ways i like to fish old ned ned there and of course thanks for watching this video even though i didn't catch any fish i hope you guys learned something and while i was out for two hours today my buddy stopped after work for like 20 minutes and he caught this fish here And what he was using was a fighter fly. I don't want to say, I mean, similar to the Ned Rig, but a smaller bait. I believe he was actually using a brown fighter jig, but the one I got here is black. And he was just working it really slow and was able to get that fish. So thanks everyone for watching. You have a great day.